Alright, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. Um, this is a response to Angie. Angie, anything? If you... Yeah. I figured I'd make you a video response because there's no way that I could fit this into the 400 or so characters of a comment. Um, the illness you're describing is pretty close to Lyme disease. I say that because you have the joint and the muscle pain. Also, you tested, you said you tested positive for inflammation in the joints and inflammation in your muscles. Um, the thing that you came back with sounded like traveler's diarrhea, which is a protozoal infection. Um, there's a medicine out for that now that a Lyme doctor should know about to give to you. It's called Alinea. Um, Jackie's on it right now. It also can treat Babesia, which is a co-infection. If you get bit by a tick, they carry co-infections. And so you get not only Lyme disease, but you get multiple other Ill m multiple other infections. Um, Babesia is one of them. Um, there are many, many more. Ehr Ehrlichiosis. There's a ton. Babesia is probably the one that most people struggle with the most. Um, at least those people I know. They the, It's the number one co-infection. It just takes forever to get rid of. Um, and it can get in your gut. And that's why the Alinea is antiprotozoal. But it also helps treat the Babesia. Um, you really want to get on this fast. It seems like your doctors are sending you down the same road they sent me on. Um, every doctor you mentioned in that video, I've seen. I've seen them and they didn't have answers. And if you're getting to a point where you're not finding answers, I hate to tell you, but if something's telling you something is wrong and they're not listening or they're not giving you answers, you have to find your own. Um, and I'm more than willing to help you with that. There's a great Lyme disease community here on YouTube. Um, and if it's not Lyme disease, then you still have to advocate for yourself and if you're having these symptoms and the tests aren't backing it up, then maybe you need to see another doctor. Um, the Lyme test that they are giving you, they are the usually the ELSA test or the Western blot. I was tested through four different doctors four different times. Every time it came back negative. They ran a CD57 test on me, which you may be able to get your doctors to run. It's like a T-cell test for HIV, but it tests how well your immune system is working. 200 above, you're great. 150 below, you're kind of moderate sick. Under 100, you're almost dead. When they tested mine, it was 3. It's the lowest my doctor had ever seen. So, that may be a good test to ask for. Um, but the Lyme disease testing they're giving you is really, really inaccurate. It's been proven inaccurate, but they continue to use it. Because the CDC is not... They're not using all the research that's out there, sadly. Um, check out the... There's a channel on here called Open Eye Pictures. They have a documentary out now called Under Our Skin, you could search that. Um, it's a whole video about how completely fucked up Lyme disease is and how fucked up people are about treating it and um, just how screwed up the medical system is to begin with. But um, back to the Lyme stuff. Um, so I'm trying to remember everything you said because there's a lot. Um, so the ELSA test and the, and the Western blot, you're not likely to get a positive because a lot of times people get, like, false negatives. Um, but there, there are two main labs that I know of. One is Igenix, which I left in your comments. You can find their website online, I-G-E-N-E-X Labs. They solely to focus on testing Lyme disease. Um, there's another lab in Central Florida, I think it may even be Central Florida Labs, that tests, um... The best thing I suggest you do is go to the ILADS website. It's the International Lyme Disease Association, um, I-L-A-D-S dot org, if I'm correct. And you can search for Lyme literate physicians in your area. If you find a Lyme literate physician who can test you through a Lyme disease laboratory, I think you're going to get very different results. Um, I urge you to do this as quickly as possible because... The longer this goes on, the further the infection can travel, and once it gets into your it gets into your brain, it's very very hard to get rid of. Um, but the earlier you catch it, the better off you are. And I hate to see anybody go around and be drug around through doctors like I have. Um, I'm not willing to bet money that it's on Lyme. It it very much sounds like it, but I think a lot of things sound like Lyme and. What I can tell you is I can tell you where to get accurate testing. And I can tell you that if you can get accurate testing and it comes back negative, you can cross Lyme disease off your list. 
So every time the doctor try to tell you it's Lyme disease, you can say, no, I've tested negative through multiple laboratories, as opposed to just one lab. Well, obviously there are different labs you can use, but you've been tested through different laboratories other than like Quest or um, LabCorp. Um, you've been tested by a Lyme-specific laboratory, and that having that evidence, I think, um, can at least give you the peace of mind to move on and say it's not Lyme disease. But the quicker you can do it, the better. Um, you will need a doctor if you can find a, if your PCP is willing to order the Igenix test. They can order the test for you online. You can get the blood drawn in the office, and they can send it off. You just need to have a doctor that will sign for it. Um, if you think you can get your PCP to do it, great. Say, I've done some research. I really want to get my testing done through this lab just to double check. If your PCP will do it, great. Awesome. If they won't, use the iLADS website and find a Lyme literate doctor in your area. Um, if you look on message boards, Lyme message boards are often referred to as LLMDs. Um, and message boards are also, there are um, a lot of message boards, and there's a lot of information online about Lyme disease. You just have to make sure you're getting the right information. Um, I would definitely, definitely, definitely suggest you check out iLADS, and you check out um, Under Our Skin, the movie, uh, the documentary about Lyme disease. Their website has a lot of great links, a lot of great information, and it's pretty easy to digest. Um... But when I got sick after I got drugged through everything, I ended up not being able to walk. I couldn't stand up. My joints hurt. I couldn't keep food down. I lost a lot of weight, and then I gained a ton of weight. Be weary of the prednisone. Prednisone makes you feel good while you're on it, and it did the same for me when I had Lyme disease. It made me want to eat. Um, I mean, when I, before I was diagnosed with Lyme, um, when I got put on it, it made me want to eat, and it made my joints feel better. But um, long term, it damages your immune system, and it does a ton of damage. And basically, if you have any kind of infection, it's killing your immune system off and allowing that infection to rear up again. So it's like when you get off of it, you feel worse than you even felt before. So a lot of people get on it long term and don't realize what the cycle kind of is with it. Um, I could talk about treatment options with Lyme as well, but... Um, I won't until you know that's what it is, and, um, yeah, um, if you need any more information, you can PM me, I'll be glad to help, um, I'll give you my email address, um, I'll try to send you some links, um, I think the ones I've provided are, I've got, you know, kind of the basis covered, so you can look and kind of get an idea of, um, the labs, some information online that I know is current, and, um, you can try to find a, a, do a doctor in your area. Um, and the sooner you call and find one, the better, because they're usually very backed up um, and hard to see, because there's a lot of patients, and um, a lot of them travel really far to see their Lyme litter doctors. I travel on a state. Um, most people I know do. So don't be surprised if you can't find one in your town. Um, you may have to travel, you know, up to a few hours to see somebody, but it's worth it. Um, they're amazing doctors and do great work. Um, in the meantime, I would, for me, when I got to that point, massage was really helpful, but you need to have somebody that understands what's going on, um, but it did help. Um, as far as mobility goes, um, don't be afraid to get a wheelchair when you go out. It's there to help. Um, if it means you can get out once a week or twice a week or, or whatever, um, that's helpful. The sweats that you're having are very common. They're a Babesia thing. I have them all the time. It's cold sweat. I know exactly what you're talking about. You feel like you have a fever, you go to take your temperature and you don't have one. So I know what you're talking about. Um, it just seems very similar. It's kind of like looking in a mirror watching your video. So I wanted to give you this information. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I did have to learn a lot and advocate for myself to get diagnosed with Lyme. And um, most people I know have had to do the same. So... Um, if they're even looking at Lyme, that's good news, but, um, you definitely need to be tested through a Lyme, a Lyme literate lab and see a Lyme literate doctor. That's it for now. PM me if you need anything. Um, I wish you well and I wish you health. Take care.